We continue to celebrate Women's Month here on the Solar Sports Desk, and joining us now in the studio is triathlete Monica Torres. Although I'm kind of not sure if she's part machine because <laughs> <laughs> she finishes races pretty fast. Welcome to the Solar Sports Desk, Monica. It's good to have you here. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Uh, let's start with your how you got into the sport of uh, triathlon in the very first place. Uh, what what started this whole you know lifestyle change of yours? Oh yeah, I mean I was pretty active as a child. I just wanted to try like I bugged my parents to like, take me to karate class or take me to <laughs> ice skating. And then in UP Diliman as a student, uh, I met a lot of athletes in the dragon boat team, and yeah. a lot of them would bike to train. And then we would swim also and run. And then I was thinking, like, that's basically it. You swim, you bike, you run. And, like, I volunteered one time for this triathlon. And I saw so many, I mean, forgive me, but, like, really big people or yeah. kind of people in their 50s, 60s finishing it. So I thought, I could really do that so easy. It was so not, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that's, that's one thing, though, because in, in the past, not that long ago, when you think, when you speak of uh, triathletes, uh, in, in the Philippines, usually mm -hmm. they're a little bit on the heavier side because <laughs> they kind of need a little bit, you know, you do think they at least to back burn then, to yeah. burn something. But nowadays, uh, you, for example, you're more one of the most fit people You have nicer there. arms than Gino. Wow, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm wearing long sleeves. Is and, that you know, a question? Covering... Or... <laughs> no, but, but, but the, the, you know, what changed? I mean, how, how do you, because th now when you watch, uh, I've covered several races, and you don't really, you, most of the people you see now, are they're really extremely fit. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. When I started out in 2007, I mean, there were fewer races, there were fewer participants. As a, a girl joining 20 to 24 age category, basically every time I finished the race, I would be on the podium because there were so few of us. Yeah. And now it's just become so much more popular and with like the introduction of the Iron Man brand and the Challenge brand events, and then it's just all the corporate sponsorship and yeah. and media attention, and then so and also with like awareness of really how to train properly, mm -hmm. and just exposure to international events. So in general, like the whole triathlon community has really like moved to another level. When it comes to training for a triathlon, how much time do you dedicate uh, per discipline? Oh, uh, well, say in a race, uh, the most time-consuming bit would be the bike. So, like, say, almost half of your time for the entire race would yeah. be the bike. So, it would be almost the same in training. Like, you spend technically more hours on the bike than the swim and the run. Okay, and, and uh, you're one of the pros that we have uh, in the Philippines. Uh, how did you reach that level? I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who join just for fun. They just want to. They just want to yeah. finish. But you are actually one of the pros that that compete You're and are win. expected to win or at least place uh, pretty high in, in in all races that you join. Yeah, it, it started out a little bit with luck, as I said, because there were so few girls yeah. in the beginning that there were uh, like the national duathlon team actually kind of drafted me. Oh, hey. You kind of always join and win. <laughs> Do you want to train with us? And I had that great opportunity to train with a proper coach and with really fast guys. Like I had two girl teammates, but really just that training with fast people and then opportunity to race abroad and, and see all these other athletes who are just so much like way ahead of us. So, I mean, we're relatively new. Yeah. as a triathlon community mm -hmm. so that just that exposure and being able to see like how much more you can improve and how much harder you have to work so basically that was the key for me yeah. which triathlon in your entire lifetime um, did you join that really stands out the most that could pro Oof. you could probably say that you broke barriers in your own life or yeah. ah. I, I think uh, the so the first time we had that Ironman in Kamsur, 70.3, yeah. the half Ironman in Kamsur was 2009. And then the second one was 2010. I just, I don't know with what happened with my training. Maybe I was training too hard or I didn't recover properly. I had such a hard time during the whole race. 
And usually I'm normally in the back anyway, coming from a slower swim, so I'm just trying to always chase down people. And it took me forever to like, everyone was like shouting at me at the end of the run. She's right there in front. Actually, it's Coach Annie De Leon at that yeah. time. And I couldn't see her and it I just was like, I'm running out of road. We're almost at the finish, yeah. where is she? <laughs> And then, yeah, it was just a very, very short gap between us. And then when I crossed the finish, like, I was actually crying, but <laughs> trying not to. Like, yeah. I, when, you, when you think about the sport of, of, of triathlon, who, who, do you, who would you consider to be uh, the people that you look up to? In, well, as athletes? As, as, well, the, the, in triathlon first. Not, not, not necessarily just uh, athletes, but in, in, the, in, the, in the sport. It doesn't have to be female. Yeah. It could be, just, could be anybody that you've uh well actually um obviously a lot of athletes sports buffs know fred oiteng su yeah. mm -hmm. mostly for basketball and for alaska but he is the one responsible for bringing in the iron man franchise yeah. to the country mm -hmm. and he was really the one who uh, allowed like you know that possibility of having major major sponsorships for the sport because it really it really takes a lot so he was the one who really made it popular and like i'm sitting here now trying to be a pro or i'm a pro <laughs> i mean it's basically also because of him and other people like him yeah. to, who are willing to support triathletes and okay there, it's also this this is a sport also i just want to point out i know we have to take a break but this is also one of those sports that uh you know you can go up you can compete against let's say the lebron james of the sport <laughs> Uh, you know, you can't do that in basketball. You, I'm going to take on LeBron James. But in, in, yeah. in triathlons, you, you can go up against some of the best. So uh, for a, a lot of you who don't know, you uh, in triathlon, so you have the professional or the elite category. And then everyone else, you're categorized by age. So it's yeah. 20 to 24, 60 to 64. So you can actually be a world champion at the age of 63 and, yeah. you know, ha have that title. And, <laughs> and also it's like the same... You join a race, what the top finisher does, you also did that. So crossing the finish, even if you didn't win, like you can say, I did exactly what the world champion did, yeah. except maybe twice as long as <laughs> him. But. And it's very empowering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>